Hey there, in this video I'd like to show you how to convert a uh, static page to a post or vice versa, post to page. To do this we use a free plugin and we'll get that and install that. It's not on the site. It's called P-Type Converter. So you can search just like that and it should come up. Now you're going to get two results most likely. This is the old one, P2 type converter. You don't want to use this, it's been deprecated, so don't use it if you're using WordPress uh, later than 2.7.1, which I am. So we want to do a P type converter. We install it in the usual fashion, and it's a free plugin, which is great. We'll activate it. Now, on this uh, website, it's a real website that I have, it's a local uh, real estate website, and uh, I only have pages, but let's say I want to convert one of the pages to a blog post. And all we do for that is we use the tool we just installed. Now you'll find it under Tools, P-Type Converter. And you're going to go to the Convert tab. And we want to take a post. No, sorry. We want to take a page. Now here's our pages. And let's say we'll do living in South Surrey and we want to convert that here's the convert part so the second part to a post we we'll click convert it'll ask us to confirm that and success there we are we now have a post and let's check that out living in South Surrey it's a post and it's no longer under our pages and we can just as easily convert that back. So let's suppose this was a post that I wanted to, we're going to convert to a page. We just take post, go to page, and here we go. We see it's a post type right there. You want to select these carefully, post to page, and convert. Success. Go back to our posts. It's not there. It's under our pages again. Good to go. Now, one important thing to remember, especially when converting from a page to a post. If your pages are uh, set up as a child page, and I'll show you, so you want to double check that. When you create a new page, you can create what's called or allocate a parent page. And what that's going to do is actually impact your URL structure. So we'll just call this a test page. I'm not going to actually publish it, but what you'll see happen here, right now we have our URL, or our basic accessory real estate agents.com slash test page, and that's how a blog post would show up. But if we chose to put this, sellers real estate agents, as the parent, watch what happens to her. Your, and I'll publish it. I'll just uh, delete it after because this is a live site. Look what happened to her URL. We've now created dash sellers dash test page. And what would happen if we convert this to a post? It's going to remove the sellers and create just the test page. And so if you have an existing page with links to it and traffic going to it, and then you all of a sudden convert it to a post and you your URL changed on you, you're obviously going to have some problems there. So you want to watch for that. If that is the case and you have pages that are what we call a, a child of uh, a parent pages and you have this URL structure and you want to convert it to a post, you can use what's called a redirection plugin and you're going to have to manually redirect each individual parent setup URLs to redirect to the new post URLs. So let me just show you this. We now have, I've published this page and if we convert this to a post so we're doing pages it's our test page we convert it to a post it succeeded that's good check out the new URL structure the sellers is gone 
it just wipes it out because it's no longer a page and it's no longer functioning with the parent sellers page so um, you just want to watch out for that if you are going to do any of uh, conversions from pages to posts other than that you shouldn't have any problems and why would you want to do this why would you want to convert um, you know if you decide to completely change the layout of your website and do more of a blog focused and you want to convert a bunch of static pages to blog posts that could be a reason you know some themes um, function really only working with blog posts and don't really function well with the static pages um, because they're really blog oriented uh, in that case you might want to switch your pages to your posts uh, or if you want to move from uh, more of a blog format and go to more of a static page website setup then you might want to convert uh, posts to pages and when you convert posts to pages that's not going to have any issues in terms of your URL typically um, you know but just just really watch out what's going to happen to URLs when you use this other than that you shouldn't have any problems hope you found this helpful thanks